Ken. Good evening and thank you for joining us this evening for our city council meeting. We'll go ahead and get started. Abriana, could you please call the roll? Cheatham. Cheatham. Here. Florek. Here. Mangum. Here. Mansfield. Here. Nichols. Here. Paulson. Here. What? Here. <laughs> Thank you. If you'd please uh, stand for the Pledge of Allegiance, after which, if you would remain standing for a invocation by Tony Seichel, uh, representing the Point of Senga. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I invite you to close your eyes as we bring our attention to our breath and body and where we are at this very moment, feeling our breath as it nourishes our body. We give thanks for this present moment and for the precious body and precious human life that we have. We reaffirm our desire to use this life to serve our fellow human beings May everyone in this meeting continue to hold this strong intention to serve others, to be a bridge for, the, for, the, uh, for those with rivers to cross, to be a ship for those with oceans to cross, a shelter for the homeless, a safe refuge for those in danger, and a hand of hope for those who feel no hope. May our health continue to support our efforts, and may we welcome adversity as readily as success. May all of us be free from suffering, and may we li live with ease of being. May all those suffering in war and oppression find peace. May those grieving find solace, and those who are ill have compassionate treatment and health. May all beings, without exception, be free from enmity, danger, hatred, and despair. May all beings be free from suffering and the causes of suffering. May our efforts here today benefit all of the citizens of Pocatello. As we close this meditation, I would like to quote the Buddha. The dedication of a virtuous act for all beings is like adding a drop of water to the ocean. As long as the ocean exists, the drop of water exists. So too, a small positive action, when directed toward the benefit of all beings, will endure forever. I invite you to open your eyes now so you can begin your work on behalf of the people of Pocatello. Mayor Blad, members of council, thank you for your generous gift of service. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you. We'll move to agenda item number three is a consent agenda. The following business items may, may be approved by one motion and a vote. If any one member of the council so desires, any matter listed may, can be moved to a separate agenda item. A, minutes. Council may wish to waive the oral, oral reading of the minutes and approve the minutes from the January 18, 2024 special city council meeting. B, material claims. Council may wish to approve the material claims for the period of January 16 through 31, 2024. C, Americans with Disability Act Grievance Committee reappointments. Council may wish to confirm the mayor's reappointment of April Mills and Mike Hershey to, contern, to continue serving as members of the ADA Grievance Committee. Both terms will begin February 18, 2024, and it will expire February 18, 2026. D, Animal Shelter Advisory Board reappointment. Council may wish to confirm the mayor's reappointment of Paige Zilmer to continue serving as a member of the Animal Shelter Advisory Committee. Page's term will begin February 9, 2024, and will expire February 9, 2026. E, Pocatello Regional Airport Commission reappointment. Council may wish to confirm the mayor's reappointment of Larry Bell to continue serving as a member of the Pocatello Regional Air Airport Commission. Larry's term will begin February 5, 2024, and expire February 5, 2026. F, Council Decisions Certificate of Appropriateness and Sign Exception. Council may wish to adopt this decision, approving a certificate of appropriateness and sign exception to Pocatello Municipal Code 15.20.230 for a sign located at Lookout Point uh, completed and installed by Yesco LLC. 
G, Council Decision Short Plat Approval for Olympus Jer uh, Junction Subdivision. Council may wish to adopt its decision approving a subdivision of approximately 23.65 acres of land into two lots generally located at the northeast corner of Olympus Drive and Jerome Street, subject to conditions. Mr. Mayor? Yes, Mr. Mayor. Council, Council President. Uh, uh, or, um, I know I, I saw you looking over there. Yeah, Rick said something, but I think that he wanted to pull something out. So okay. I'll let him. Council Rick, Member do you want to make the motion? No, I, I, I do not want to pull something out. I simply okay. would like to direct a question to Chief O'Hearn about an item on the, on the uh, material plan. Okay. So should I make the so motion first? So before we first? do that, we would like a motion in a second, okay. yes. I, I move that we approve the consent agenda um, as outlined in agenda item number three, items A through G. Second. Okay, we have a motion by Lurick and a second by Mangum. We have a question by Council Member Cheatham. Mr. Mayor, if I may, Chief Hearn, um, you had uh, some shirts purchased for new employees of the fire department, which made me curious about the overall status of your numbers, your employment. Are we full? Are we still have some needs for additional employees? Uh, good evening, Mayor and Council, Ryan O'Hearn, uh, Fire Chief. Uh, we are not currently full. Uh, those shirts were uh, to be used in our academy. We just finished a recruit academy, and we were hoping to be fully staffed at this point. Uh, we had one member that did not finish the recruit academy, so we are currently down one. Uh, as we look into the spring, we do have one planned retirement, and so we will sh soon be down two and hope to have another recruit academy in spring uh, prior to summer. Are these, are these, if I may, Mr. Mayor, follow up, um, are these regular firefighters or are they paramedics or what, what status is the open? These are firefighter EMTs. They'll be okay. probationary firefighters. Thank you. Okay. Any other questions? Thank you, Chief. Thank you. So we have a, a motion by Lurick and a second by Mangum. Aubriana, can you please call the roll? Lurick? Yes. Uh, Mangum? Yes. Cheatham? Yes. Um, Mansfield? Yes. Nichols? Yes. Paulson? Yes. Thank you. Agenda item four is proclamations. We have no proclamations tonight, so we'll move to agenda item five is a calendar review. Council may wish to take this opportunity to inform other council members of upcoming meetings and events that should be called to their attention. February 8, 9 a.m. City Council work session. February 15, 5.30 p.m. regular, or 5.30 p.m. <coughs> clarification meeting. 6 p.m. regular City Council meeting. Other events, the 44th annual Simplot Games will be held February 15, 16, and 17, 2024 at Idaho State University's ICCU Dome. Uh, city offices will be closed on February 19 to observe President's Day. However, garbage and recycle pickups will remain on schedule. Applications for the, for the Pocatello Promise for Tomorrow Mayoral Scholarship for Students Program are being accepted through March 1. As a reminder, uh, to please keep your sidewalks clear of snow and ice when clearing sidewalks and driveways of snow, please do not place the snow in the streets. It becomes a driving hazard. We will move to agenda item six is a public hearing. Community Development Block Grant CDBG Program Year 2024 Annual Action Plan. This time has been set aside for council to receive public comments on the proposed Community Development Block Grant CDBG Program Year 2024 Annual Action Plan. Per the CDBG Citizen Participation Plan and U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development, HUD, requirements, are, uh, requirements a written public comment period began on, began on December 19, 2023 and concluded on January 19, 2024. This public hearing will, pro will provide an oral comment opportunity for, for the plan. Following the public hearing, the council may wish to authorize submission, including any public comments 
of the plan of the program year 2024 action plan to the Department of Housing and Urban Development HUD and authorize the mayor's signature on all requisite requisite documents subject to legal department review with HUD and any other sub uh, sub recipients or subcontractors and we've got to find a way to shorten that down but <laughs> I have yet to see Christine ever be able to do that <laughs> with that being said I declare the public hearing open Good evening, Mayor Blatt and members of the City Council. Uh, unfortunately, my remarks are going to be even longer than the, uh, <laughs> the agenda <laughs> item. But uh, My name is Christine Howe, and I'm the Grants Manager for the City of Pocatello. I'm responsible for the administration and management of the City's Community Development Block Grant, or CDBG program, which is an annual federal entitlement program administered by the U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development, uh, affectionately known as HUD. As described by the mayor, this public hearing is the oral comments opportunity for the city's program year 2024 annual action plan. The 2024 program year begins April 1st of 2024 and concludes on March 31st, 2025. All CDBG entitlement communities are required to submit an annual action plan at least 45 days before the start of the program year. Uh, the action plan serves as the strategic plan for achieving the goals outlined in the city's five-year consolidated plan that was adopted by the City Council. Um, this action plan will be year three of the 2022 through 2026 consolidated plan. And the action plan reflects the priorities established by that con plan, which includes housing, public services, public infrastructure, public facilities, and planning and administration projects. The city has, an estimated, has estimated the program year funding to be approximately $375,000 with an anticipated 25,000 in additional program income. Um, in order to identify specific activities that would meet the comp plan goals for 2024, the city's CDBG advisory committee conducted an application <coughs> process that began in September of 2023. This included a technical assistance meeting for interested applicants, uh, submission of statements of interest, final application submission, and then presentations to the advisory committee. Uh, at the conclusion of this process, the advisory committee then voted on recommendations for funding. These recommendations were included in your packets as the PY 2024 20, proposed budget. Um, activities that were recommended for funding include our lead hazard control grant match, the city's renewal program, uh, PRT tickets for homeless persons, case management services for homeless persons, after school programming, case management services for people with disabilities, dental services for uninsured or underinsured, and uh, emergency social ass service assistance and the nutrition programs for seniors. Our funding also includes sidewalks and ADA ramp uh, installation, the annual contribution for the new homeless shelter um, that was constructed a number of years ago, <coughs> fair housing activities, and our general grant administration. Um, per the adopted CDBG Citizen Participation Plan in accordance with HUD requirements, uh, we posted these documents for written comment period um, of at least 15 days and uh, conclude the comment period with this public hearing tonight. Copies of the recommendation were made available for the public um, at the Marshall Library, NeighborWorks Pocatello Life Inc., the Housing Authority, City Hall, and on the city website. The comment period began on December 19th, 2023 at noon and concluded January 19th, 2024. And the public participation period will end with this oral comment opportunity. And we will incorporate all comments into the annual action plan. Um, to date, we've received no written comments. Uh, following tonight's hearing, the council may wish to vote to approve the documents and authorize submission of the 2024 annual action plan, along with any additional elements required to meet U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development um, regulations to HUD for review and approval. So that concludes my presentation, and I can answer any questions you might have about the plan. Okay, I've got uh, Council Member Nichols. <clears throat> so how has the public participation been thus far? Uh, we've not received any written comments or oral comments. Uh, we do uh, conduct our technical assistance meeting at which a number of our local agencies attend, and they express some priorities there. And we also did a robust uh, public comment process for the consolidated plan to identify the priority categories. Um, but typically during the annual action plan, we don't receive don't get a, lot. a number of um, written comments. All right, thank you. <clears throat> Other questions? Uh, Council Member Cheatham? You're muted. You're, you're muted again. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Several years ago, we made a commitment to aid for friends for CDBG money. 
to go along with the new building that they put together. Has that already been taken out of the pot? Uh, yes, that's included here in the proposed budget. You'll see it under the public facilities line item. It's And this is year five of that five-year commitment. So this will be the last $50,000 installment to be paid toward that partial acquisition of that shelter. Thank you. Any other questions for Christine? Okay, thank you. Thank now, you. Christine has said that there has been no written correspondence. Madam Clerk, do we have any in your office? No, sir. Okay. Thank you very much. Then we'll look for any testimony supporting the application. Any testimony uncommitted to the application? Any testimony opposed to the application? Okay, then um, I don't know if you want to talk more, Christine, but um, <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and close the public hearing. I declare the public hearing closed. Council, this item is before you. How do you wish to proceed? Mr. Mayor. Yes. I would move for authorization of the submission uh, of the program year 2024 action plan to the Department of Housing and Urban Development, authorizing your signature on all requisite documents with HUD and any subrecipients or subcontractors subject to legal department review. Second. second. We have a motion by Mansfield and a second by Mangum. Sorry he beat you out. <laughs> Albriana, could you please call the roll? Mansfield? Yes. Mangum? Yes. Cheatham? Yes. Borick? Yes. Nichols? Yes. Paulson? Yes. Thank you. We'll move to agenda item seven, Final Platte Pioneer Village Subdivision. Council may wish to approve the Final Platte application submitted by Brandon Ratliff of LandQuest Development to subdivide 11.05 acres, more or less, into 19 lots. The proposed subdivision is generally located at east of I-15 and access from South 5th Avenue at the, uh, at the former location of the Sunset Drive-In. Staff finds the proposal is compliant with all applicable standards of Pocatello Municipal Code, assuming compliance with the conditions listed in the staff report. Mr. Mayor. Yes. I would move to approve agenda item seven as outlined. Second. We have a motion by Mangum and a second by Mansfield. Abriana, could you please call the roll? Mangum? Yes. Mansfield? Yes. Cheatham? Yes. Florick? Yes. Nichols? Yes. Paulson? Yes. Thank you. Agenda item eight, application process approval for mental health services ARPA funding grants. Council may wish to approve the application and award process for the ARPA funding for mental health services service grants and authorize the mayor to award funds to recipients based on the grant committee's recommendation. The, and authorize the mayor's signature on all pertinent documents subject to legal department review. The city council has approved up to up to two hundred thousand, up to two hundred thousand dollars in America Rescue Plan Act (ARPA) funds to provide grants to local agencies that administer mental health services. Mr. Right? Mayor. Yes, I got Nichols before you, but I'll, I'll have you a second. <laughs> go for the same things. Um, I move that we approve the application um, process uh, approval for mental health services um, for the ARPA funding grants as outlined in agenda item eight and authorize your uh, signature on all pertinent documents subject to legal department review. Second. Thank you. <laughs> okay, they did it backwards again, but that's all right. All we'll right. move. Uh, we have a motion by Lurick and a second by Nichols. Uh, Brianna, could you please call the roll? Florick? Yes. Nichols? Yes. Cheatham? Yes. Mangum? Yes. Mansfield? Yes. Paulson? Yes. Thank you. Agenda item nine, acceptance of request for proposals and professional services agreement in Hells Engineering. Council may wish to approve a professional services agreement between the City of Pocatello and Hells in Engineering to provide professional services and, and, co and conduct intersection analysis for the safe streets and roads for all SS4A action plan and out authorize the mayor's signature on all pertinent documents subject to legal department review. The agreement is not to exceed $119,500 and will be funded entirely by grants by grant funds from the US DOT SS4A grant. Mr. Mayor. Yes. I will move to approve agenda item nine as outlined. Second. We have a motion by Mangum and a second by Paulson. Aubriana, that's your name. Would you please call the roll? <laughs> Mangum? Yes. 
Colson? Yes. Cheatham? Yes. Borick? Yes. Mansfield? Yes. Nichols? Yes. Thank you. Agenda item 10, professional consulting services agreement for the Parks and Recreation Open Space and Trails Plan, Pros Consulting Incorporated. Council may wish to approve a professional consulting services agreement between the City of Pocatello and Pearls Consulting Incorporated for the City of Pocatello Parks and Recreation Open Space and Trails Plan and authorize the mayor's signature on all pertinent documents subject to legal department review. The total cost is $143,320 with optional service totaling $7,650. Mr. Mayor? Yes. I move that we approve the professional consulting services agreement um, for the parks, recreation, open space, and trails plan with Pros Consulting Inc. Um, and authorize the mayor's signature on all pertinent documents subject to legal department review. Second. We have a motion by Lyric and a second by uh, Ma Mangum. Abriana, could you please call the roll? Which twin? Lyric. <laughs> Yes. Cheatham? Yes. Cheatham? Yes. Mansfield? Yes. Nichols? Yes. Paulson? Yes. Thank you. Agenda item 11, piggyback bid acceptance street department. Council may wish to consider the following piggyback bids for the street department and if awarded, authorize the mayor's signature on all documents pertaining to the purchase subject to legal department review. A, Orta Street Sweeper Source Well Contract Number 091521NAF via Orta Road Street uh, Sweep Road Sweepers LLC for the purchase of one Orta MTA4H non CDL mechanical road sweeper in the amount of $281,709.90. B. Elgin Street Sweeper Source Well Contract. Number 093021 ELG via Metroquip Incorporated for the purchase of one 2024 Elgin Boom Bear Street Sweeper in the amount of $379,909.60. And C, Kenworth Dump Plow Truck, source well contract number 06. 0920 KTC via Kenworth Sales for the purchase of one 2024 Kenworth T880 with Viking Body in the amount of $328,595.34. The funds for the purchases, purchases are available in the Street Department FY 2024 budget. Mr. Mr. Mayor. Yes. Um, I move that we approve the piggyback bid acceptances for the street department as outlined in agenda item number 11, uh, items A, B, and C. And if approved, authorize the mayor's signature on all, per all documents pertaining to the purchases subject to legal department review. Second. We have a motion by Council President Lurick and a second by Council Member Mangum. Aubriana, could you please call the roll? Lorick? Yes. Mangum? Yes. Cheatham? Yes. Mansfield? Yes. Nichols? Yes. Paulson? Yes. <clears throat> Thank you. Agenda item 12, piggyback bid acceptance sanitation department. Council may wish to consider the following piggyback bids for the sanitation department and if approved, authorize the mayor's signature on all documents per pertaining to the purchase subject to legal department review. A, side load refuge truck, source well contract number 060920 PMC via Peterbilt Mold Motors and Co uh, Company for the purchase of three Peterbilt 520 side load refuge trucks with LeBray body at $435,603 each for the total of $1,306,809 together with the three trade-ins valued at $51,500 for a total expenditure of $1,255,309. And B, front load refuge truck, source well contract number 060920 PMC via Peterbilt Motors Company for the purchase of one Peterbilt 5, 520 front load refuge truck with Wickle body for $428,000. Uh, for $428,747, together with a trade-in value of $12,500 for the total expenditure of 
$247, and C, roll-off refuge truck, source well contract number 060920 PMC via Peterbilt Motors uh, com- Corporation or Company for the purchase of one Peterbilt 567 roll-off refuge truck with a uh, Galbraith body for $275,275. Uh, together with two trade-ins valued at $22,500 for a total expenditure of $252,775. Funds for the purchase are available in the Sanitation Department FY 2024 budget. Master Mayor. Yes. Um, I would move to approve agenda item number 12 as listed. Second. We have a motion by Councilmember Nichols and a second by Councilmember Mangum. Uh, Brianna, could you please call the roll? Nichols? Yes. Bingham? Yes. Cheatham? Yes. Lorick? Yes. Yes. Mansfield? Yes. Paulson? Yes. <clears throat> Thank you. Agenda item 13, resolution to reject all bids, Pocatello Police Department, <clears throat> PPD, locker room renovation project. Council may wish to accept the recommendations of staff and adopt a resolution rejecting the bids received in response to the PPD locker room renovation project. So, uh, solicitation and declaration declar- and declaring that the project can be performed more economically and purchase purchasing goods and services on the open market pursuant to Idaho code 60-2805 Mr. Mayor yes I would move to accept the recommendation of staff adopting resolution rejecting the bid received in response to the PPD PPD locker room renovation project solicitation and thus declaring that the project can be performed more economically by purchasing goods and services on the open market pursuant to Idaho Code 67-2805. Second. We have a motion by Mansfield and a second by Paulson, I think. Did that right? It was a tie. Pick one. It was me, but... He says it was a tie. I'm going with Paulson. It wasn't me. It wasn't our attorney. That's a good thing. So we have a motion uh, by Mansfield and a second by Paulson. Albriana, would you please call the roll? Mansfield? Yes. Paulson? Yes. Cheatham? Yes. Morick? Yes. Mangum? Yes. Nichols? Yes. Thank you. Agenda item 14, airport lease termination resolution and lease agreement airport. Council may wish to consider the following for 4,550 square feet of private hangar property at the airport and authorize the mayor's signature on all applicable documents subject to legal department review. A. Approve the termination of a lease agreement between the City of Pocatello and Stacy Meyer dated March 2, 2023, and if approved, B, adopt a resolution and approve a lease agreement between the City of Pocatello and Robert Isaac for 4,550 square feet of property upon which Mr. Isaac owns the, an aircraft hangar. The lease will be for a term of 20 years with a 10-year renewal. Option rental rate at will be... $952.21 per year and will be increased annually according to the CPI with a full rate review in the 2026 and every five years thereafter. Mr. Mayor. Yes. I would move to approve agenda item 14, items A and B as listed. Second. We have a motion by Mangum and a second by Lurick. Mr. Mayor. Yes. Um, before we vote on this, could we um, just have our uh, airport manager come up and talk about, um, there might be a little bit of confusion about items 14 and 15 and sort of what we're doing here. Um, you gave us a very succinct explanation before that would help people understand. Mayor and council, you cannot have your airport manager. He's oh, I know. I'm sweet, sorry. I was going to say the manager can't make I'll it, help. but we got the we got actually better than the manager. Sorry, so. Christy Hines, <laughs> management assistant at the airport. Uh, these items are very similar. Mr. Stacy Myers built a hangar, so we currently have a lease agreement with him for the property. He sold the hangar to Mr. Robert Isaac, so we need to terminate his lease agreement, sign a new one with Robert Isaac. Mr. Meyer would like to continue developing hangars at the airport, so the next item you'll see is for an additional five lots that he's going to lease, build, and sell the hangars. And so we will bring those lease agreements to you as he sells them to, again, terminate his and sign a new one with the new owners at the time. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Thank you. So with that, we have a motion by Mangum and a second by Lurick. Aubriana, could you please call the roll? Mangum? Yes. Lurick? Yes. Cheatham? Yes. 
Mansfield? Yes. Nichols? Yes. Paulson? Yes. Thank you. Agenda item 15, airport resolution lease agreement, Stacy Meyer. Council may wish to adopt, re adopt resolutions and approve lease agreements with Stacy Meyer for five parcels of property upon which he will construct one aircraft hangar on each parcel and authorize the mayor's signature on all applicable documents subject to legal department review. Each parcel will be under a separate lease agreement. The rental rate for each parcel will be $709.14 per year to, the, to be increased annually according to the CPI. With the full rate re review in 2026 and every five years thereafter. Term for all agreements is 20 years with a 10 year renewal. Mr. Mr. Mayor? Mayor? Yes. Um, I move that we approve um, or adopt resolutions and approve lease agreements with Stacy Meyer as outlined in agenda item number 15. Um, authorize the mayor's signature on all applicable documents subject to legal department review. Second. Thank you. We have a motion by Lurick and a second by Mangum. I apologize. We have a motion by Council President Lurick and a second by <laughs> Council Member Mangum. Uh, Brianna, could you please call the roll? Lurick? Yes. Mangum? Yes. Cheatham? Yes. Mansfield? Yes. Nichols? Yes. Paulson? Yes. Thank you. Agenda item 16, airport bids, acceptance, and procurement agreements. Council may wish to accept the recommendations of staff for the following request regarding the purchase of two pieces of snow removal equipment for the Pocatello Regional Airport. <clears throat> A, accept the low bid from Western States equipment in the amount of $366,179.14 for a loader with attachments. B, accept the low bid from Fort Brand Service LLC in the amount of $327,041 for a class V truck with a plow and de-ice trailer. And if the bids are accepted, C, authorize the mayor's signature on all pertinent documents between the city of Pocatello and Western States equipment in the amount of $366,179.14 and Fort Brand Service LLC in the amount of $327,041, subject to legal department oh. review. The purchase will be, will be funded with Airport Improvement Program, API, and, bipart and Bipartisan Infrastructure Law, BIL, funds, and the Airport Passenger Facility Charge Funds. Mr. Mayor. Yes. I would move to approve agenda item 16, items A, B, and C as listed. Second. Uh, thank you. We have a motion by Council Member Mang Mangum and a second by Council Member Mansfield. I got you both right this time. The twins didn't come out on me now. We've got to always have one agenda item together. <laughs> I know. Once I know. a night. <laughs> Just to see how, what happens there. With that, uh, we have the motion. Aubriana, would you please call the roll? Bingham? Yes. Mansfield? Yes. Cheatham? Yes. Lorick? Yes. <laughs> Nichols? Yes. Paulson? Yes. Thank you. Agenda item 17 is items from the audience. We have nobody that has signed up for items from the audience. With that, we are adjourned. <laughs>